Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, I apologize now if you can hear like a lawnmower and dogs barking. Even though it's about to rain outside, apparently this is the best time for my neighbor to do yard work. I thought I would be in the clear for noise, but I guess not. Uh, anyway, so obviously the world right now is in a crazy, crazy situation. Um, with the COVID-19 and so I'm sure you've also noticed if you are a subscriber that I have not posted in a little over two months. Yeah. A um, couple reasons for that. I work at a major grocery slash retailer chain here in Michigan and of course because of what has been happening I have been working a lot of hours. The first couple of weeks it was I had no days off, then I only had one day off. Then I thankfully went back down to my normal schedule. Uh, it's still crazy hectic there. Um, things have been insane and I would like to take this moment to remind anyone who is out there shopping to get essential stuff and all that, please be kind to clerks. Um, I'm a manager at the place that I'm at, but I still, you know, run the register with my employees, and things have been insane. Um, a lot of people have been extremely rude and angry, and I get that everybody's scared, everybody's nervous, this is, you know, a crazy time, there's a lot of uncertainty, I get that, and a lot of people handle that in different ways. But we're trying our best, and we're doing everything we can to be there to help you with what you need. Um, I would like to say, no matter how stressful it has been at my job, that I can't imagine how it's been for somebody in the medical field right now. And so I want to take a second to say thank you for everything that you're doing. I can't imagine the stress that you're under dealing with this virus, this pandemic, I'm sure it's been, you know, extremely trying on you guys, and I'm very thankful, and you guys are literally angels among men, and thank you so much for everything you're doing right now. Thank you for everything that you're doing and that you will continue to do. Um, I would like to encourage people to thank their healthcare workers, whether they're nurses or MDs, surgeons, anyone working in the medical field, they're, I'm sure, beyond stress. I'm sure there's not even a word for what they're feeling. So we need to be really supportive to them right now um, and thank them for everything they're doing because without them, this would be a lot worse than what it is. I know a lot of them are not sleeping at all, are working around the clock, and I can't, I can't even, you know, thank you enough for everything you're doing. Um, that aside, <laughs> I know a lot of people are on YouTube to get away from the scary stuff that's going on. Um, I just wanted to kind of do a channel update because my last video that I had done, I had a bunch of stuff planned. I had a, uh, a couple part series I wanted to do on getting my dream style that I've always wanted for myself. And I started filming that, part of it's already edited, but when I went to upload it, that's when all this stuff started snowballing, and even though it wasn't crazy yet here in Michigan at the time, because it was, what, um, February, end of February, beginning of March, um, it hadn't really gotten crazy yet, but it was already starting to affect my work life, so that my social life wasn't really existent my at home life basically so by the time I was able to finally be able to put those out there on my channel I I actually had this moment where I was like should I uh with that uh, people going by on four wheelers the stay at home orders going as well um uh, <laughs> anyways uh, I, I couldn't decide if it was a good idea or not to post those videos and you guys would want to see that because 
it's so trivial in the grand scheme of things, and there's far more important things, and yeah, so I didn't know what my plan with that was, but I recently decided, you know what, I'm going to continue to work on my channel because it's something that I really want to do, I really like the idea of film and creating, and um, I want to spend my days off from work doing this so that I've got something else than what's crazy at work happening to distract myself as well. Because of course when I am home I can't hang out with friends in person, I can't really go anywhere, um, which I understand is important right now. I obviously, for very obvious reasons, would be, somebody would be high risk if I got it, so I don't want to put myself in a position anyways to get it, but also because I'm working in such a public place and I'm still heavy hundreds of people every day in my face that could possibly already have it and be passing it to me. I don't also want to give it to my friends that have been safe and self-isolating and I don't want them to get it. If I get it, that's the risk that's happening to me. I don't need to risk their lives as well. Um, so I, like I said, want to continue on working on this channel. I know that two months is a long time not to post anything. So after I put out this video, I plan on going forward with my um, my three-part series about getting my dream style. The first video that is already edited and ready to go, which I'll probably release next week just so there's a break between videos, um, is me purging my closet, getting rid of anything that I don't wear or doesn't fit into what my desired style is. Um, then the second video will be me obtaining pieces that I don't have, um, which Technically, I've already bought them. I did have, I do have it on video. I just have to edit it. I didn't complete it though because I was going to go to thrift stores and get a couple of those pieces, but all the thrift stores are closed. So I'm gonna have to get creative for that. I have some ideas on how I can handle that. Because um, if you've seen any of my thrift videos and talking about how important it is to thrift, I don't like fast fashion. Um, even though as someone plus size, fast fashion would be a lot easier for me to find clothes. I don't like the idea of, you know, style being this disposable thing where these things come out for a short period of time and then all of a sudden you're already on to the next thing and there's all these clothes that are just wasting away in landfills or just sitting there and I think it's just creating a lot of unnecessary waste. I don't think it's eco-friendly and I don't agree with it. Have I had to go and buy pieces in stores? Unfortunately, unfortunately, you know, I have here and there. There's been times where I can't find anything in thrift and I've needed clothes, like work clothes, or say I've ended up wearing through a pair of pants after however long and I need to replace them. And I also have very large feet. So yes, unfortunately, I have had to go to stores. But that's different. I think it's fine if you're going for, you know, pieces that you're going to use all the time. But I don't agree with this, oh, I'm going to go buy something just because it's in style. I don't think that that's good for our planet. I also feel like that stifles your own creativity. You should be your own person and have your own style. You shouldn't be trying to copy what everyone else is wearing right now. Because I guarantee you that shirt that you're buying through fast fashion, thousands of other people have that exact same shirt. And to me, that's just like, I don't want to look like everyone else. Yes, my videos that I'm going to do on this style thing is an inspiration point, but it's not, I'm not planning on copying this person exactly. I just want it to kind of embody my core aesthetic that I want to have. Um, I, like, I've always wanted the style even before I knew this person was a person. <laughs> so, you know, that being said, um, I really was looking forward to showcasing how you can create your desired style without having to feed into fast fashion. So I'm going to have to get creative on the second part of that video, and then of course the third part of that video is going to be me actually putting together the outfits and showing them to you guys. And I was looking forward to that, so I'm going to continue that. 
the other video that I already have ready to go, which I'm going to have to reshoot because things have changed, or I might just leave it as is and include it in the next one. I decided after doing my vision board video where I put all my goals for the year that I was going to do a quarterly update to kind of hold myself accountable on what I've done and what I haven't done. So I still want to do that. I already have the one recorded for January, February, and March in one video, but of course when I got done recording it was when everything started happening. So those things drastically changed. A lot of things in that video that I said I hadn't really started on yet or wasn't able to start doing or continue doing has obviously changed because when I'm home from work I now have an abundance of time. So I've been able to work on those things a lot more than I would have before, which I'm not mad about. Um, a couple other things have stayed pretty much the same, but quite a few of them I've actually been working on because I have the time to work on them. I'm not weighed down by everything else, which unfortunately the part I wish I wasn't weighed down on is the stress from work, and I wish I was having more time with friends. But right now, since that isn't possible, of course I'm going to take the time to work on myself and some of it, you know, I'm pretty happy with so far. Um, I have lost some weight. Not a lot, obviously. It's not exactly visible yet, but my clothes are fitting looser. Um, I'm feeling better, like I'm having more energy. Uh, I feel like I'm noticing changes from the healthier habits that I'm having. Barely been eating out, I mean, even before the whole pandemic started. So, I mean, there are things that are going to be a little different from that video. I'm still going to post it because it's already filmed and ready to go. And just when I go to do the one in June, I'll be able to backtrack and tell you what's happened from that video to June. Um, and, you know, if you're not interested in it, I completely understand. I kind of want to catalog it as a way to hold myself accountable and say, look, these are the goals you set for yourself. This is what you need to be doing. So do it. So I plan on doing that. So there'll be one. Um, and then I'll probably put that one out tomorrow or the day after. So there'll be two this week. Um, then the following week I will do the first installation of the style one. Um, and then I have a couple other video plans that I'm going to film as well. Um, <laughs> it's just making it tricky. But uh, for the time being I will work on the ones that I can and hopefully eventually I'll be able to get to the other ones. Then after the June update I will also do one in September and then I'll do one in December as a kind of like end of this is how it all went. Um, so yeah, that's all I wanted to kind of update you guys on today. I know I've been gone for a long time. Um, unfortunately, things are crazy right now, which I know they're not just crazy for me. They're crazy for everybody. So, um, I just want to say, I just want to say stay positive, stay safe, and stay healthy. Um, again, if you are an essential worker or a healthcare worker, thank you for everything that you're doing. Um, I'm also an essential worker. I know how stressful it is right now. Please keep your head up. Uh, don't take any of these nasty, rude comments to heart. Um, if you're anything like me, I have actually had a lot of people being really sweet and kind and thanking you, which I don't need these people to thank me, but it definitely makes you get a boost of like, okay, you know, we're, we're all in this together. We're all collective, you know, we're all the human race. We need to band together instead of falling apart. I mean, be good to your fellow man. If there's some way you can help out, do so. I mean, this is a good time to remind ourselves of what's actually important, and that's each other. And, you know, no materialistic thing or money is going to stop this from affecting you. It doesn't matter if you're rich or you're poor or if you're unattractive or attractive, like, none of that matters. This thing, it, it doesn't, it doesn't care. And so I think that should be a good reminder of how valuable life is and how short it is, how every moment counts. And, you know, if you're feeling lonely, I highly suggest video chatting. I've been doing that a lot with uh, a few of my really close friends and 
from other people into the family that I had out of state and it helped you feel like you're still connected in a way. I actually did a whole painting session and a game and uh, cooking with friends over video chat. So, I mean, make the best of this time. Be there for each other. Um, stay safe. Wash your fucking hands. Please. Um, stop, stop coughing on each other. Like, what is that about? Like, I, if you think you're being funny, it's not funny. It isn't. Um, anyways, stay safe, you guys. Till next time.